Hello there. If you want to learn how to play like Buddy Guy, well then you're in the right place because today I'm going to show you how. And that's coming up. Hey there, thanks for tuning in to this Buddy Guy inspired lesson. And if this is your first time here, check out video one. Because each video is going to build on each other. So you need to check out the first lick before you get into this one. But this could be a playlist of five videos. And uh, when it's all said and done, you'll have all the tab and be able to pl play this uh, great little riff. So let me show you what we're going to learn. I'll go over what we learned in lesson one and then this is the second part. Here we go. So in this lesson, we're starting on the fifth fret of the A string and use your third finger because we're going to slide to the seven. Pick the fifth fret of the A string, the fifth string, then slide to seven. And then we're going to the D string which is the fourth string with your first finger. Using your third finger again, we're picking the seventh fret of the D string, the fourth string. Then we're going using our first finger on the G string at the fifth fret. So notice how this is That right there would be the blues scale, but A minor blues scale. Okay, so we're going five. Well, actually, we're going, yeah, five, seven, five on the fourth string. 7 on the 4th string, then on the G string back to 5, and then on the D string 7, 5 on the D string, 7 on the A string. And then 5 on the A string, so it's Five, and then slide to three on the A string. And then five on the sixth string, the E string. So what we've got so far That's not all. You know how they say, but that's not all. So let's look at the second part that we're going to learn on this. It's back on the fifth fret. Slide again to the seven. It's almost the same, but the ending is different. Five to seven on the A string, the fifth string. Five on the D string. Seven on the D string, which is the fourth string. 
five on the G string, seven on the D string, the fourth string, five on the D string, back to the A string, seven, five, three, five. So on the first part of the lick we went three, five on the six. But on the second part of the riff it's back to the five on the fifth string. So here's how it goes so far. This is what we've learned. So on the first part of the lick, it's and on the fifth fret of the sixth string. But on the second part of the riff, it's and on the fifth string at the fifth fret of the fifth string. This is a series of five lessons. Thanks for joining in to lesson two and be sure to watch this next video because it'll go straight into the next part of this. And if you like this lesson, can you give it a thumbs up? Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say and don't forget to watch that video next. Oh, and get the tab over at yourguitarguide.com. I'll leave the link in the description for that. Thanks. Watch that.